Hello, my beautiful darling Cancer babies. I hope that everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, if you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. I also have a Virgo and Leo only channel. Readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. If it doesn't resonate, then you can go ahead and check out your other sign placements on Tarot of Light. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. And winners are announced on the community page on the first of the month, okay? Um... I am open for emergency readings only right now until I catch up on all the other readings that I have. Um, the link to book with me is in the description box below. And, <coughs> excuse me, let's go ahead and do our daily gratitude. It's a new thing that I've been starting on the channel. Um, so I'm grateful for my YouTube family. I'm grateful for my puppies being happy and healthy. I'm grateful for my health, my prosperity, my wealth, my abundance, and my peace above all things. Okay. All right, my darlings, let's get popping and let's see what we have here today for my beautiful Cancer babies in love, please, spirit. Tell me about Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus in love. Okay, so we've got finality and we've got getaway. Tell me about my beautiful Cancer babies in love. Okay. So Archangel Michael popped out here. Protection, prevented from harm and divine intervention. We've got triggers and we've got magnetic here. Spirit, tell me about my beautiful Cancer babies in love. We've got abundance and we've got betrayal. Okay. So Cancer, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're breaking free from somebody. Now keep in mind, guys, that this could be love comes in all shapes and sizes, right? So it could be... Uh, a romantic partner, it could be a friendship, it could be a family member, it could be a co-worker, it could be you place this where it resonates in your life, okay? Um, but there's definitely an energy here of not looking back, moving away from something. And I feel like this is happening for you to specifically begin a new adventure elsewhere, okay? I feel like you were drawn towards this person. You couldn't understand why, but you were drawn towards this person. But this person, there's certain triggers that come with this person. And I feel that you have learned whatever lesson you needed to learn here. Now, with Archangel Michael, it's almost like rejection is God's protection here, okay? The divine is steering you away from a situation because it's not meant for you. I don't know if you're being spiritually attacked. I don't know if it's a karmic situation. It's just, you know, the divine has a bird's eye view cancer. It sees things that you don't see, okay? Cancer, I feel like some of you might feel guilty, like you're betraying somebody. <sighs> But with abundance here, you have to protect your peace, your happiness. I see abundance coming in for you once you make this decision. I want to clarify triggers and magnetic. I can't wait to get to that because there's something pulling my, my vision towards it. Um, let's see what we have here. No. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. Okay, Spirit, tell me about finality here, please, for Cancer. Tell me about finality. We've got the Four of Wands. 
this is something, Cancer, that perhaps you thought was going to be extremely stable. You thought that this was going to be a connection that was going to last forever. Or maybe you guys made promises to each other that it would be forever. Tell me about Getaway. But with the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands, Cancer, you're moving towards something new. You're moving towards something new. We've got the Queen of Wands and the Magician here and the Tower. Wow, what I picked up on was something extremely interesting here. So Cancer, the Queen of Wands uh, can be a witch, okay? And I feel like there was someone here that specifically did magic on you, wanting to create a tower moment in your life to hurt you. Okay, this is someone that wanted to create a tower moment in your life to hurt you. But here's the problem. Archangel Michael here or your spirit team, if you don't believe in Archangel Michael, your spirit team, your, your spirit guides, ancestors, um, fan, you know, passed on family members, someone here is protecting you and they are turning this what was meant to destroy you is actually turning into a blessing in your life. Tell me about triggers here. Six of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. I feel like you were drawn to be around somebody, Cancer, whether it was romantic, like you felt really pulled towards this person. That's why big promises were made here with the Hierophant, okay? Uh, there is someone here, whether it was a, a love interest, whether it's a friend, a family member, it's like the words that were spoken between you and this person is, we're solid, this is forever, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. But I feel... I feel like there's a reason why this fell apart. There is someone in your life that created a tower moment and they attacked this specific relationship, but they attacked it for a reason because it's not part of your path. Do you understand? Like what this person meant for bad, it's turning into a blessing. This betrayal or whatever this person tried doing to destroy your life actually turns into a blessing. Now, Cancer, for all I know, this could be the same person. It could be that, you know, your romantic interest, your family member, your friend, this person that smiles to your face and pretends to be so loyal could actually be wishing a tower moment on your life, but it ends up turning into a blessing um, in your life in some way, shape, or form. Tell me about abundance here for Cancer. We've got the Four of Swords. This is you healing, recovering, and being abundant, Cancer. This is nothing in the world being able to touch your peace and your abundance. With the Ten of Wands here and betrayal, tell me about Ten of Wands and betrayal, please. And the Seven of Swords. Wow, Cancer. And the Ten of Swords. I see what's happening. Okay. So let's just recap real quick. Cancer, there was someone in your life that had a very stable position in your life. Again, whether it was love interest, family member, friend, whatever the case may be. This person was wishing bad on your life. Okay, you withdrew your energy and got away from it. Okay, this person is now in their feelings with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands and Betrayal. They're in their feelings because they were not able to accomplish what they set out to do. This person didn't realize how protected you are. 
Cancer, this person wanted to cause some type of pain and suffering in your life. This Queen of Wands energy, okay? Whether, again, whether that's, and I want to really pound that into your head because a lot of times we watch these readings and we have a vision on who we think the reading is about. Please open your mind, okay? Open your mind and think here. There is someone here that, you know, you think this person has your back okay 100 percent think of the person in your life that that you know you're like oh this person would never betray me that person that person you're gonna find yourself disconnecting from that person leaving it behind and going on a new adventure somewhere else or wanting to do something different you're gonna feel called to leave something behind here cancer and your life is going to prosper because of it. And this person that's being left behind is really suffering because they were not able to accomplish your, destroying your life. Like for some reason, this person smiled to your face and they wanted to hurt your life. But this is all happening because you're being divinely guided by your spirit team, Archangel Michael, your angels, ancestors. Maybe some of you have a passed on family member, parent, grandparent that's watching over you, um, that has led you away from this person. All right, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got fired up and justice. So cancer, this is the person that's being left behind, I'm feeling. This person is in a rage. This person wants you to pay some form of karma this person may end up trying to get you into legal trouble for some of you or this person is just wishing bad on your life like this person um for whatever reason cancer this is someone that's just wishing bad on your life we've got oh this could be a karmic cancer this could be a karmic. There is someone here that is really obsessed with you and your energy. This is somebody that was brought into your life to teach you a lesson, okay, of some sorts. This is someone that, and you know what, Cancer, let me tell you something else. This person, this could have been a third party situation where this Queen of Wands was working with someone else also. So it could have been two people against one possibly. But there's someone here that's really mad and fuming like I'm talking overwhelmed with anger that you got away that you got away. This person wanted to hurt you for some reason. And I mean, with the justice card and karmic, this could be a karmic that, you know, situation. And guys, you know, if it's love that we're looking at here, if it's a love partner, a lot of times we don't think that our love partners carry resentment or jealousy over our peace, our abundance, the money that we make, but it's a very real thing. You know, we think our partner might be jealous if we talk to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? We never really think that our partner could be jealous of our money, our energy, you know, what we're able to accomplish, you know. So if this is love, this is somebody that has resentment and anger in their heart and they want to make you pay for something. And they smile to your face. They pretend to be loyal and committed and devoted to you. Meanwhile, this person, their goal here with this Queen of Wands, this Tower, and the Magician could be either they are doing magic on you, Cancer. Either they are doing magic on you to disrupt your life in some way. Or they have someone else in the picture. A witch of some sort um, that is doing this to you. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got broken trust. And we've got sneak out in the reverse.
Here's what's interesting, Cancer. Okay, this is going to be really mind-blowingly interesting right now, okay? The way this person feels, Cancer, is they feel betrayed by you. Because at face value, you guys made promises to each other to never leave each other, to stand by each other. This person had very negative intentions towards you, but because you were the one to remove yourself from the situation, their anger towards you is, well, you broke your promise to me. See, so even because this person is being so kind to your face, right? Even though they had negative intentions, that part doesn't matter. What matters is is that on that you stepped up to the plate and you were the one to cut it off. So the, you know, see sneak out in the reverse. This is you being open and honest and telling this person, listen, I'm not going to sit here and sneak around. It's, you know, just sneak out behind your back. I'm telling you to your face that I'm moving on and I don't want anything to do with this anymore. And this person feels like you betrayed their trust. They trusted that you were going to stay committed and loyal and in one place. So they had you there and bound so that they could destroy your life. And instead, you picked up and left. And now they're mad at you. Mind blown. <laughs> okay. Mind blown. Mind blown. And now they're mad at you, Cancer. Tell me about fired up here for cancer. Look, see the eight of swords, the eight of swords and the devil card cancer. This is somebody, this is somebody that they could have been doing this magic or they could have had somebody doing magic for them. But this is someone that was sending very negative energies, possibly even demonic spirits to bind you. And by bind you, what I mean is you may have been falling into oppression, depression, feeling sick, unable to think, unable to concentrate, unable to do things for yourself, unable to, you know, maybe you were just sick or falling into a depression. It was meant to bind you so that you would stay in one place in a weakened position and caged so they could exact uh, maybe some type of revenge or whatever it is that they wanted. But you know, I, I think you're breaking free from that. And you also have to be careful, Cancer, because depending on your situation, this person may lie and get you arrested over a lie. Okay, so be careful. Tell me about the Justice card with the King of Wands. This person could be a Leo Sag or an Aries. It could be a Capricorn, possibly. This is someone that was very confident in the fact that they are justified in hurting you and instead the divine removed you from that situation and they're mad and they're angry. This person's really angry, Cancer. Tell me about obsession here. We've got the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Tell me about Karmic here. And the six of wands. Yeah, this person is very angry. They're very angry because they thought that they were going to win. They thought that you were caged and cornered and weak. And they thought that you were going to win. But with the knight of swords in the reverse now, by you removing yourself from the situation, they have no way to attack you. They don't have easy access to attack you anymore. Tell me about sneak out in the reverse and the chariot. Yeah, you're being very open with the fact of, listen, I'm moving on to bigger and better things. You know, have a nice life with broken trust and death card. The fact that you switched up on this person and ended it, they feel betrayed because their plan, everything was going according to plan. You were staying in one place, uh, you know, giving this person the opportunity to, to stab you or hurt you or do whatever. And instead, you ended up removing your energy cancer and and they're there if they were if they felt some type of way before we're amplifying that times 10 at this point because they had it really easy they had access to your energy and they were able to affect you and now that you've removed yourself it's going to be harder for this person to hurt you 
Okay, we're already almost at 20 minutes, guys. Okay, so let's take it into the extended. Let's see why this person wants to hurt you. Um, let's see what's going to happen from here on out because now this person, again, it's amplified. So are they going to let this go or are they going to try to do something more to hurt you should is there anything you need to be aware of and what's next for you here because with abundance and the four of swords i see you healing happy you know what's next for you here because i feel like you're moving you know the divine has removed you from this so what is it bringing into your life from this point forward okay um, so let's see like what comes next after this, what you need to know. Okay. I love you guys so much. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. Take care, my darlings.